Hi, I'm Kevin Borland. I'm a music producer, a guitarist, and a lawyer. I'm going to tell you about an ongoing culinary adventure I embarked on last summer, and I encourage you to join me. Not just by watching my videos, but try it in your city. My quest began Monday, July 25th, 2016, when I set out to cycle through the world's 206 ethnic cuisines on my lunch breaks. I called it the No Repeat Nationality Workday Lunch Challenge. In the previous episodes, I sampled 182 ethnic cuisines, mostly in and around the Washington, D.C. metro area. In this 28th episode, I'm going to sample the cuisines of Croatia, Afghanistan, the United Arab Emirates, Granada, Costa Rica, St. Kitts and Nevis, and Madagascar. Today's country is Croatia, and I'm going to be having some head cheese that's commonly eaten in Croatia. I'm having it as a snack, although uh, you can easily uh, put it on, like make a sandwich of it, or uh, have it with uh, onions and eggs or something. But uh, so head cheese is not cheese; it's a gelatinous substance. Uh, it's called Hladetina in uh, Croatian, and I think it's related to Holodna, uh, which is cold in Russian, because the pig's head pieces are sort of frozen into a gelatin. Mm. This version is spiced, it's not pickled though. In other countries, I know they have the sour version, and I think they have both in Croatia, but uh, that's what I got today. Head cheese, Vladipina, Croatia. I'm also gonna try some on some uh, European bread. Uh, I'm not sure if they do that in Croatia, but it's better that way. This is a linseed bread. Tonight I'm uh, headed to Lapis Bistro uh, to pick up some food from Afghanistan for lunch tomorrow. Today I'm going to try Burani Banjan, which is an eggplant dish from Afghanistan. Today's country is the United Arab Emirates, and I am trying makhluba, which uh, means upside down. It's an upside down casserole, and uh, I picked it up last night at Aldira out in Tyson's Corner. Uh, so the trick will be right side upping it uh, while I reheat it in the microwave. It's a large family portion they gave me, it looks like, so I probably won't be eating the whole thing for lunch. Today I'm trying uh, tamarind balls and uh, I extracted the tamarind salt myself from fresh tamarind and um, and so they're not exactly in the shape of balls like the ones that we see on the internet that are so nice uh, because I guess I should have uh, dried them 
dry the pulp before the pain recipe the recipe. I guess it seemed that you can dry stuff which is a lot easier to get here. So it was hard to form them at the balls when they had all that water in them. But uh, they should taste the same, same ingredients and uh, they look interesting. I'm gonna bust it. I'm working on the press some trace leches, uh, National Desert of Costa Rica. What a nice plating they have here. Oh, so good. Today's country is St. Kitts and Nevis, and I'm going with uh, oxtail steak. Zaba, which is the national dish of Madagascar. Could use a little feely feely. Or uh, sake is the hot sauce that they use in Madagascar. But it's good. Tasty. I like the mustard greens. I'm going to post new episodes every Thursday night on YouTube and on my Facebook fan page until I complete my journey. Be sure to tune in next Thursday when I sample food from seven more countries. I also encourage you to either subscribe to my YouTube channel or like my Facebook page or both. If you do, you'll get to hear a lot of my music and keep tabs on some of the other interesting projects I'm working on. And also, sharing is caring.